Today, we are talking about how to stop your birth control and what to expect when you do. Stay tuned for more. Hey everyone, welcome back. Dr. Jennifer Lincoln here, board certified OBGYN. And today I'm talking about how do you stop your birth control what should you expect? What should you worry about? What do you need to do to prepare? I've seen this kind of content so many times on social media, and I've been asked countless times, Dr. Jen, how do I stop my birth control? So we're gonna cover how. First and foremost, here is how you stop your birth control. You stop it. I'm not trying to be sarcastic or funny or whatever, but I didn't realize that this was something that so many people thought about. And that is why using social media as a healthcare provider can actually be really helpful because I see what people are asking all the time and I realize that I need to address this. And the reason I'm confused is because truly, if you wanna stop your birth control, you stop it. Here's one big reason why I think you all have this question, because you have been told or convinced that you need to do things in order to come off your birth control more successfully or have it be an easier transition. Where does this come from? I bet you can guess if you watch my social media. Shocker, it comes from companies that have created products that they say you need in order to transition off your birth control more effectively, whatever that is. So companies that you see here, companies that I've covered a bunch on my Instagram and other TikToks and YouTubes, they create these birth control cleanses and detox and supplements that they say you need when coming off of birth control, whether it's to replace nutrients that you lose when you're on birth control or to prepare for pregnancy or to help with fertility or to get your cycles like back on track. And they're all basically garbage. There's no data, there's no scientific proof to support that you need any of this, except for one situation, which I'll cover. So you see this and you think, oh gosh, I wanna stop my pill. I just, I don't wanna be on the pill anymore. I better start taking that supplement or that detox in order for my body to like heal from the pill. And that's just, it's just completely not necessary. So this is where I believe a lot of this narrative has come from. So to review, if you wanna stop your birth control, you stop it. Now, if you are stopping your birth control and you don't wanna get pregnant, please have another plan in place because you can get pregnant right away when coming off your birth control. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in the like what to expect when stopping your birth control, but just a heads up. I've also been asked if you need to wait until the end of a pill pack or the end of a cycle in order to stop your birth control. And the answer is no. It may mean that if you stop it in the middle of a pack or elsewhere that you might get some irregular unscheduled bleeding, if you know that ahead of time, that's okay. But there's no reason that you like need to finish your prescription before you come off of that birth control. So to review, if you wanna stop your birth control, just stop it, okay? I wanna highlight one exception where you do need to try and think ahead a little bit. And that's if you are coming off your birth control to try to get pregnant. And my recommendation there is that for two to three months before you try to get pregnant, you should be taking a prenatal vitamin because we know that folic acid or folate, which is in prenatal vitamins, is super important for the development of a fetus's brain and spinal cord. And that happens most times before you even know you're pregnant. So it's really important that you're getting those nutrients in the form of a vitamin before you're trying to conceive. That way you've got those nutrients in your body for when you do try to get pregnant. Yes, you can take your prenatal vitamin and birth control at the same time they don't interact. One doesn't make one less effective. It's just getting your stores up and ready for trying to conceive. Okay, let's talk about what to expect when stopping your birth control. And I'm just gonna come out the gate swinging right away. There is no medically accepted definition of this syndrome called post-birth control syndrome. Wait, wait. Don't get angry, don't yell at me. Here's what I mean by that. What I mean is, is that there is no specific diagnostic criteria or test or accepted medical definition for this syndrome. Now, I am not saying that you may not experience symptoms coming off birth control. You absolutely can. But what I don't get about this syndrome, so for example, when you walk into the office and you tell me you have diabetes, I know what that means. It has a very clear diagnostic criteria and a physiological basis. When you come into my office and you tell me that you have hypertension, again, I know exactly what that means. But if you come into my office and you tell me that you are suffering from post-birth control syndrome, I do not know what that means. Does it mean that you have acne? Does it mean that you're fatigued? Does it mean that your hair is falling out? Does it mean that you have no sex drive? So when you tell me you have this syndrome, we still have to keep going and figuring out specific symptoms which can be different for everybody. So instead of calling it this syndrome, which was basically invented by Jolene Brighton, and she did this, and then she profits off of it beautifully. She wrote an entire book where 30% of her book is selling her supplements and her quote unquote protocols for post-birth control syndrome. So she invented, you know, and, and coined this term and then made this beautiful supplement market. It's a fantastic business move, but it sucks for people who are birth control users who then think that this is a widely accepted term and that her supplements are the answer. What I'm saying 
is let's lose that term and let's see the person in front of us. So if you come off the pill and you say, Dr. Jen, my sex drive is in the toilet, or I've got really bad vaginal dryness and I didn't have that when I was on the birth control pill, or my periods are really heavy and crampy and I'm struggling. I wanna be able to discuss and, and target your specific symptoms that you're having and treat you, the person in front of me, not this term that's not accepted, and I'm not gonna try and just sell you a bunch of supplements. And by the way, I find it very funny that Jolene Brighton, this is like her whole shtick, and it comes out of how doctors don't listen to women and don't listen to people, and yet here she is medicalizing something and offering this treatment, which to me makes it feel like we're not seeing the person in front of me. So to me, using that term is really a step backward in the care. Okay, enough said. So what to expect when you come off any form of birth control, specifically hormonal birth control? Well, I tell people that you may notice that your periods are a little wonky at first because it can take a couple of months for your cycles to kick back into action. It can be normal for it to be up to a year almost if you're on the depot shot, but the others it can take between two and four months. So if you don't have a period that comes back within that time, you should let us know. Oftentimes your periods go back to what they were. So if you had heavy periods and that's why you were using birth control, it may very well go back to that. But there's also a caveat. Let's say you started birth control when you're 20 and now you're 40 and you're stopping it. You cannot expect your cycle to be the same as it was 20 years ago. So let's say you stop it and now you've got terrible PMS and you never did 20 years ago. You might say that coming off birth control caused your terrible PMS when actually we know that PMS symptoms can change, especially as you get older. And really it's your age that is the reason for that but the birth control gets blamed. And why do I think that matters? Because then it gives birth control a bad name and then we have people who wanna use something to not get pregnant, but they're afraid to because of this myth. So most often your cycle will go back to what it was, but it can definitely change as you age or if other things in your health have changed, like your weight or if now if you're smoking or sometimes they even change after pregnancy. So there's a bunch of different variables, but if you are struggling with your symptoms after coming off birth control, let us know. What to expect if you're coming off birth control because you want to try to conceive. I have got some fantastic studies in my show notes that you can carry around with you for whenever anybody says, well, don't you know that birth control causes infertility? Because it doesn't. There used to be this idea that birth control caused a temporary infertility, and this was related to very high dose birth control pills that we were using back in the day. And it did take a while for cycles to come back. We are now using remarkably lower doses, and we also understand that a lot of that myth wasn't true to begin with. So a study that I've linked below looked at 18,000 people with a uterus who came off birth control and here's what it showed. Those who use Depo or the birth control shot, it took about five to eight menstrual cycles for their periods to come back. And with other forms of birth control, it was between two and four cycles. So the IUD, the patch, the ring, and the pill. Here's a really important fact. How long you've been on birth control for, whether it's been two cycles or two decades, has nothing to do with your ability to get pregnant in the future related to birth control. That means birth control doesn't cause infertility or trouble getting pregnant. Your age definitely plays a factor, but your birth control use, how long you've been on birth control does not at all. And I think that's really reassuring to know. And so if you're somebody who wants a good birth control method, but you wanna be able to get pregnant when you wanna be able to get pregnant, the injection may not be the best one for you because it could take up to a year. And so some other methods might be better for you. And I think that's really important to know when you're making your decisions on what birth control method might be the best for you. I'm gonna wrap it up with my five tips for coming off of birth control. Number one, if you wanna stop your birth control, just stop it. That's simple. You don't need a detox, a cleanse, or anything else. The only caveat is for number two, if you're trying to get pregnant, I'd love for you to take a prenatal vitamin two to three months before coming off your birth control and trying to conceive. Third tip, your periods very often will go back to what they were like beforehand, but if it's been a very long time that you've been on birth control, keep in mind that cycles can change as you get older. Number four, no methods of birth control lead to infertility in the future, no matter how long you've taken them. And number five, you will very often resume your cycles within a couple of months after stopping most forms of birth control, unless you're using the depot shot, which can take somewhere between five to eight months according to this study, but we very often quote up to a year as potentially being normal as well. And I'm, th I'm going to throw in a bonus one here. There is no medically accepted term of post birth control syndrome. However, if you're having symptoms, you deserve to be evaluated for your specific symptoms. Sometimes it can be related to your birth control and sometimes it can be related to the fact that there are lots of other things that can change in our bodies and in our health. Using a blanket term that doesn't really have diagnostic criteria is not helpful and doesn't help treat you, the person in front of me, which is the one that I care about the most. I hope that helped you. Share your stories in your comments about what it was like for you stopping birth control or things that you were told about it or how you quote unquote were told you needed to prepare your body for stopping birth control. Happy contracepting and stay safe everybody. Bye-bye.